GPS. Welcome home. They told me somebody was here to see me, but they didn't say who. Who are you? I'm Jack. Jack? I think you need someone to talk to. I'm here to listen to you, Lily. Help you unburden yourself. Hey, I want to speak to Lieutenant Munson. Well, what do you know? It's Mr. Assistant DA. Mark, take it easy, please. Hey, I've just about had it with you. Margo! Honey, hey, where are you? Honey? What's the matter? Where is she? Well, I don't know, John, but she's not in the house. Having trouble deciding, huh? These are all very lovely. If you could tell me what you're looking for, something light for daytime, a floral. Oh, if you like jasmine, springtime has a nice jasmine scent. It's light, very elegant. Oh, what happened? Oh, it's okay. I'll get someone to clean it up. Watch the glass. As the world turns. Brought to you today by Pampers Premium with Airflow Sides. Pamper your baby. Make them happy. Keep them dry. Moms know a secret to help keep baby skin. Mr. Kaznoff, what's the problem? I got a call from someone in your DA's office about my brother. Yeah, I understand he left the country. Yeah, that's right. He went to Spain. The Munson said something about him being extradited? Yeah, that's a possibility. Why? You trying to nail him with Santana's murder, too? Why'd he leave the country without notifying us? He doesn't have to notify you. He's not even a suspect. Why did he leave? He went to find Pilar Domingo. Pilar, why? Because he's concerned about her. She's got no family, that's why. So is there something romantic going on here? Well, maybe, maybe isn't it just possible that somebody has a little compassion for another human being? You ever thought of that? It's possible. But two people on opposite sides of a murder case? Wait a minute. I, don't, I didn't think there were any sides here. A lot of people have been hurt by what's happened. True. And some people might profit. Wait, well, what are you suggesting? Well, from the reports I've received from the FBI and Interpol, Santana's embezzled considerable well, stuff. Well, so you think Mike and Pilar are just well, off... Well, you know your brother best. Yeah, and you don't know him at all. Help me out here. Did I ever say his brother was a suspect? Hey, hey, what are you doing talking to her? This is between you and me. Your brother's not a suspect. I just want to know where he is in case I need him to testify for the trial. You don't want him to testify. He's not going to help you hang Lily. You know that. Do you know where he is in Spain? No. Look, I'm asking for your cooperation here. Will you let me know when you hear from him? He's a material witness. I just want to touch base with him. He won't be extradited. This is David. I want you to 86 extradition proceedings for Michael Kaznoff. That's right. So I guess now I'm supposed to thank you, huh? No, but maybe now you can do something for me. I thought she was upstairs. Well, so did I. Uh, she's not in the house, John. Maybe she just went out back. She went out the back door? That's yeah. just great. Well, maybe she just went for a walk, huh? Maybe she just needed some time to think alone. What do you suppose she's thinking about? She shouldn't be alone right now. John, I know that. I thought you were going to keep your eye on her. Didn't we agree upon that when we let her out of the hospital? Which was against my wishes, by the way. She seems fine. She says she feels better. 
Sounds to me like she's having psychotic episodes. You don't know that. Okay, John, she forgot about the keys. She was confused about the perfume. This could just be the PTS. This sounds different. You heard what Hal Munson said? She had a violent episode last night. She could have killed him. Well, I don't believe that. This is your daughter. Do you think that she's going to attack Hal like that? Not if she's Margot. No. John, don't. Do you seriously think that there's something wrong? I think we got to get her off this medication. Well, she couldn't have gotten far. I'm going to drive around. I want to put her in the hospital till we get her off this stuff. So I'm going to call Lynn Michaels. Fine, do what you got to do. Yeah, this is Dr. Dixon. Would you connect me with Lynn Michaels, please? Yeah, Lynn, it's John. Uh, listen, I think my daughter Margo's in big trouble. Miss, what are you doing? Oh. That's very expensive per... Miss, you better leave. I'm going to have to ask you to leave this door. Security. Security to the perfume department. Police? Oh, my God. What's going on? Are they giving away free samples? Whew. That is one strong perfume in there. It's the woman at the counter. She's crazy. They better send someone with a net. What? Security? We need security in the perfume section. Are you brushing twice a day? You could be ruined. Margo, think about Tom. Think what he's going to say. Think about the kids. Think about the kids. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, Margo. Margo, please grab my hand. Margo, look at me. Margo, it's Emily, remember? It's Emily. We're friends. It's okay. It's okay. We're friends. Just grab my hand. Just grab my hand. It's okay. It's okay. Grab my hand. No. No, I'll tell you what we got. We got zip. We got 238 slugs and no gun. I, I gotta have the gun. Right, I'll take any gun at this point. Just find it. What about the tape? No. Well, so get a warrant and search the place. Nobody is above suspicion what? at this point. I don't care. What is this? It's a surprise. Nobody. Yeah, like what? Yeah. Trust me, it's not just any tape. Yeah. Well, get them together yeah. and get it. Do me a favor. Do not let your dad get his hands on it. Have the judge give you that. Huh? Yeah. All right, and get back to me. Hey! Ryder! Stay out of this, okay? Just stay you out of You, over this, here, really. you it's cool. in yeah, here. Now, so didn't I cool. tell you to stay away from her? What am I gonna do? No, Dad, I just this wanted is to talk to business, you for a okay? Just and you, I don't like you I, look, sneaking around like this. It's not her this. fault. She didn't know I was coming. No, I don't want you to apologize, okay? I'm glad you came. Don't Nick, listen to Nick, him. Nick, it's okay. Look, I don't blame you, all right? I screwed up. Oh, no, this is way past screwing up. Yeah, but I didn't knock you over the head last night at the church. You were out cold when I got there. I was going to get you help. No, what you were doing was going to see Nikki when I told you to stay away from her. Oh, well, there was a time when you would have understood, Dad, when you would have trusted me. There was a time when I didn't have a reason not to, Nikki. You just don't get it, do you? Oh, yeah, yeah, I get it. I was 17 once. Well, I'm going to be 18 in a couple of weeks. Why doesn't that make me feel better? All right, look, Mr. Munson, you, you don't have to worry. No, I do have to worry, Ryder. You know why? Because you have lousy... No, 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 no. It was not his idea to meet me at the church. It was mine. And you have had a bunch of lousy ideas since you met him. Dad, would you listen to yourself? Look... You're worse than Mom ever was. Okay, look, I don't blame you. I know you're just trying to protect Nikki. Yeah, I have to protect her, Ryder, because you are constantly in trouble. And I do not want to see my daughter dragged under with you. And what has Ryder done that's so terrible? For starters, he got involved with Diego Santana. He was dealing with stolen auto parts. Oh, yeah, right. Let's not forget he killed him, too. Uh -huh. Why don't you just frame him for murder, Dad? That way you can lock him up forever and I'll never see him again. I know that's okay. what you want. Okay, Nick, Nick. Look, it's not his fault, all right? I was, I was at the church the night Diego got shot. It's your dad's job to... 
Wonder why. And you know something? I'm still wondering. I didn't shoot Santana, all right? Is that what this is all about? I mean, this is, is this why you won't let me see Nikki? Huh? You're not under arrest, are you? No. You know something? Nikki is right. There was a time when I really could trust her, but last night I found she's been sneaking around for well, all this time like because it? of you. I would not have to sneak around if you weren't so weirded out. I do not want my daughter being hurt. Look, I don't blame you for not trusting me, all right? But if you just give me a chance, I, I swear there will not be any more trouble. I'll prove to you that I'm really good for Nikki. I would never do anything to hurt your daughter, Mr. Munson. I love her. Please just try to understand my position in the Santana case. Oh, I do. And Lily's in county jail because of you. She confessed to the shooting. She didn't confess. She said the gun went off accidentally. Look, I know you're a friend of Mrs. Santana's. I can understand how you feel. Yeah, and you're trying to nail her. I'm not trying to nail anyone. I'm going by the evidence. That's all I can do. Yeah, well, that's a smart move, because you're going to make a big name for yourself going after her, aren't you? You're wrong about that. I've, I've taken a pretty unpopular stand here. I've made a lot of enemies. Mrs. Santana's very well liked in Oakdale. Yeah, and she's got a little boy who lost his father last year, and now he's going to grow up without a mother if you win this one. If you think I'm happy about that, you're wrong. I think it's a tragedy what's happened to that little boy. Oh. But it's a job, and somebody's got to do it, right? Mrs. Santana has a wealthy and powerful family behind her and lots of friends. She'll have every advantage if this thing goes to trial. If you think this may not go to trial? Well, I'm still following every lead in the case and trying to get all the facts. That's why I questioned you. Is it? Because I wondered about that. Didn't feel like you were asking about the Santana case. Felt like you're going after something else. You're a minister. Reverend. Oh, I hate standing on ceremony. Please call me Jack. I know the trouble you're in, Lily. You must feel confused about why you're here. What's happened to you? Yeah. A lot has happened. Most of it seems very unreal. Ah, it's a heavy weight to bear. Feeling responsible for a man's death. I thought I was doing the right thing. To protect my son, getting justice for his father. I still can't believe I've done what I've done. Wow. Would it help to talk about it? You're very kind, but I don't even know you. No, sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger. Someone who will listen without passing judgment. Yeah. Maybe you're right. You don't seem like the type who would resort to violence. I didn't think I was. How did it happen? Um, I lost my husband about a year ago. I, he was murdered. It was a, a terrible, terrible shock. I didn't know where I would find the strength to get over it. I knew I had to for my son. It was a terrible time. And then Diego came into my life. The man who died? Yes, the man who died. <laughs> oh, he was very warm and understanding, and I thought he was there to help me get through my grief. He told me he loved me, and then I found out that he was the man that killed my husband and got away with it. The FBI, the police, he fooled everyone. I just wanted him to be punished for what he had done. And you were willing to marry him, knowing what he had done. I was willing to do anything to get his trust. I needed a confession, something I could bring to the police. You are a very brave woman. Uh, I don't know about that. Things just got out of control. The night he died. How did it happen? The shooting. Why do you ask? It, if you explain it to me, maybe it'll help you sort out the confusion in your own mind. What brought you here? I'm from your grandmother's church. You know Emma? Mm-hmm. Reverend Summers is her pastor. Well, I'm new to the congregation. Really? Emma's never mentioned you. I didn't realize Reverend Summers had retired. He hasn't. It's the wrong answer. 
Jack. Reverend Summers retired last summer. Well, I was told he was on sabbatical. I know who you are, why you're here, and who sent you. Want to see something totally breakthrough? Breakthrough to Hydrians, the first water-based cream color from Clairol. Who knew that water could deliver color like this? Clairol Hydrians uses the power of water, so it deeply saturates every strand with radiant, moisture-rich color. That won't wash away. Taking permanent color to a superior level of gentleness. I never knew it could be so gentle. It actually feels healthier. Breakthrough to an incredible kind of color. First there was hair color, now there's Hydrians. Today and enter the Be the Next Mighty contest. Every day, they take your breath away. Oh, those men of guiding light. Hold on to the passion. Hold on tight and don't let go. At the Tennessee Aquarium here in Chattanooga, I know there's more to this morning. I don't know what you mean. David Allen sent you in here to spy on me, right? David Allen? David Allen, the assistant DA who's prosecuting my case. Well, I don't know him, and I'm certainly not here to spy for him. Oh, please, goodbye. Well, please don't go. I am from Emma's church. Oh, boy, I've certainly made a mess of this. Maybe I should come clean. Yes, please. I am a minister. Luther's Corners was my first parish, and this is the first time I've ever had to comfort someone in your situation. You mean someone in jail? Right. Well, you are right. You did not start off on the right foot. Oh, I'm nervous, that's why. <laughs> I know that doesn't inspire much confidence, but maybe someone with more experience would have been better for you, but everyone said a younger minister would be easier for you to talk to. Who's everyone? Last Sunday, Emma brought your son to church. You saw Luke? My heart went out to him the moment I learned of his situation. How did he seem? Quiet. But I think he's going to be all right. He seems very attached to Emma. Yeah. He is. I'm, I'm glad that he has her. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't have to tell you how proud of him she is. We had a great talk. She said he likes to help her on the farm, said he likes to feed the chickens. <laughs> Yeah, he does. He does. Yeah, apparently he's a little too generous with the feed. Mm, sometimes too generous, yeah. <laughs> he's spending a lot of time at your grandfather's place. Emma told me Cal gave him a ride on the tractor. When I asked Luke about it, you should have seen his face light up. So he seemed happy? I can see how this must hurt you, missing these moments in his life. It's my own fault. I thought I could take matters into my own hands, and I've made things worse. So much worse. Maybe it would help if you talked about it. I have talked to everyone about it. The police, my lawyers, I've told the story over and over again. Well, maybe it might help you understand that night. You know, what you were feeling, the thoughts that were going on in your mind when you turned on that man who had brought you so much pain. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. It really isn't. Just when you brought up Luke, just reminded me of what I have done. Uh, no, maybe I should be the one apologizing. I was here to help you, and uh, please forgive me. Maybe I should go. No, please don't go. Actually, uh, I could use somebody to talk to. I drove the whole neighborhood. I talked to some of the neighbors. Nobody's seen her. Lynn, you should know this. Last night she. She went to the drugstore, and Hal Munson says that he saw her over at the church where Diego Santana was shot. Munson says somebody came up behind him, hit him over the head, knocked him cold. He thinks that it was Margot. Now he questioned her. 
She denied being at the church, and if you want my opinion, I don't think she remembers. She's never done anything like this before. I think it's this medication. Well, I've never heard of such a severe reaction. She's supposed to be on 50 milligrams. Is it possible that she's taking more? Oh, uh, who, who, a, a, any, anything is possible at this particular point. Well, she needs to be hospitalized to be taken off it. I feel badly about this. I had doubts about letting her go home so early. Well, you didn't put up much of a fight, Lynn. Look, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't going to commit her, and she wasn't going to stay voluntarily. I'm obviously missing signs. I don't know. She, she cut her hand, and she doesn't know how it happened. Last night, she bought six or seven bottles of perfume and doesn't even remember buying them. I think I just didn't... I didn't want to see it or something, huh? I'll arrange for her admission. Call me at Memorial as soon as you find her. Okay. Thanks, Lynn. Thank you. Tom, don't blame yourself for this. None of us saw it coming. Come on, she's right, you know. So where is she? I mean, what's she doing now? It's okay, Margo. You're okay. going to be fine. You're going to be just hey, fine. Hey, everybody just back. Yeah. I'll handle yeah. this. It's okay. No, no. I'm, I'm your friend. Let me talk to her. Just stay yeah. away. It's okay, Margo. It's me. Oh, no. We're friends, right? I want to help you. Like you help me, remember? Just take my hand. I'm going to get you out of here. No one's going to bother us. No trouble. Good. Hang on. I'm going to take care of everything. Just watch the glass. Come on. It's okay. Wait, it's okay. Hey, hold on there. The show's over. Everybody go back to what you're doing. It doesn't seem that way to me. How'd all this get broke? She kept dropping them to the ground. I asked her to stop. It's like she... Miss, I'm, I'm going to have to hold her till the police get no, here. look. This woman is sick, okay? There's no reason yes, to bring the police into it. Just leave us alone. There's a lot of damage here. Well, fine. I'll take care of it. Just do not call the police. Margo. Margo, let's go. Excuse us. Come on, let her go by. Let's go. She's got a police oh, ID. Get away from her. Come on, Margo, let's go. Babies are coming whether you're ready or not. No one. We'll continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment. Tonight. You want to take on the tobacco industry? There are warning labels on cigarettes. You understand we're trying to put your family out of business. From today's headlines, feds, then, will search for the truth. Mobsters, cops. And my dad. Push a cop too far. Somebody is trying to frame you for murder. Easy Streets after feds. CBS Tonight. Kiss FM does it again. Does it again. Somebody's going to win. $10,000 tomorrow morning at 710 on Kiss FM. Could be you. Yeah, you. Why CBS? Welcome home. And now, part two of As the World Turns. You've used up all your chances. Now, get out of Dad. here. Dad. I do not want you meeting Nikki. I do not want you calling her. I do not want you making any contact with her of any kind. Dad, why do you are you doing me? this? Yeah, why? I told you everything I know about Diego and those stupid auto parts. Oh, sure, when you had no choice. No, that's you not did. fair. You know Ryder was just trying to keep me out of it. Oh, he did a great job, too, didn't he? Getting you mixed up with Diego Santana. Well, it's not like he went looking for trouble, not like Lily Grimaldi and Margot did. Hey, keep Margot out of this. Why? She's Adam's mother. That's enough, Well, I Nikki. think you'd be more worried about her than Ryder, Dad. At least with his help, you, you caught the guys who hit the auto. That is warehouse. not the point. You know, if this is just about the boot print at the church, I, I didn't shoot anybody. I don't know, Ryder, but you seem to have a knack for showing up at the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, last time. I do not want to see you anywhere near Nikki. If I do see you near her, you are in big trouble. Do you understand? Yeah. No, Ryder. Nikki. Goodbye. Nikki. Give me the tape. What tape? The tape, Nikki. Don't lie to me. The tape that Ryder gave you. No, it's mine. Give it to me, Nikki. Why, Dad? Because what do you want with it? Because the tape was stolen. Well, it's not this one. 
that was stolen from W.O.A.K. It is evidence in the Santana murder. I know that Ryder was at the studio that night. And you think Ryder stole it, Dad? You really think he'd bring it here? I have to hear it, Nikki. satisfied now dad i'm sorry nikki why do you have to act like such a jerk nikki i had to hear you it. said it would be different between us you said we would always talk you said you'd, you'd understand me how can i well you make me seek around dad you treat me like i'm some sort of kid you don't understand me Ryder. and i love each other I know you think you do, Nikki. Dad, but I you... know you were trying to break us up, and I am not gonna let that happen. Nikki, look, I'm... You're 17, I'm your father. You have to... Feel up to talking about that night? I can't. I understand. Yeah. So how are you getting along here? <clears throat> any trouble from any of the other prisoners? Yeah, well, it's amazing how many troublemakers there are in here. Yeah, I guess it's that kind of place. <laughs> you ever feel like you're in danger? Sometimes. Has anything happened? Well, one of the inmates tried to cut my throat. Bro, I got scared, you know, but you can't let anybody see that in here. Well, why did she attack you? Because she was working with David Allen. He was using her to get information about me that he could use against me, and she cut this deal. I found out about it, and then she came after me. Well, are the prison guards doing anything to protect you? She's in maximum security. For now. But there's other things I have to worry about. I mean, you can't trust anybody in here. Well, you can trust in God, Lily. He's here. Sometimes it feels like he's not. Well, he is. No matter what you've done, no matter what brought you here, he'll never abandon you. I don't know if he could ever forgive me. I mean, I hated Diego so much. Oh, God forgives everything to the truly repentant. I know what I did was wrong. But if I get convicted, my son is going to grow up without me. Do you think a jury will convict you? I don't know. But it doesn't matter because I will always, always in my mind think that I could have been, I may have been the one that killed Diego. Well, you may have been. I don't understand. I thought you confessed. I fired a gun. Well, my friend found evidence that there was another gun that night. Someone else had a gun and fired it. Well, that should be helpful to your defense. I don't know. Diego killed my husband. He told me he killed my mother. I never thought that I could hate someone that much. And I had a gun. And it went off. I don't know why I'm telling any of this. No, because it helps to talk about it. Yeah, it does. Thank you. I'm sorry that I doubted you. Double scotch straight up. Hi there. So, what? Uh, tough day, huh? Uh, does it show that much? <laughs> yes, it does, sort of. I'll come again soon. I hope you mean that. No, you can count on it. I've got a lot to talk about, Lily. Maybe next time you'll open up a little bit more. Unburden yourself. Thanks. You're a very strong woman. Oh, I feel that way at all. Well, a lot of people would be 
frustrated and, and confused if they were ever in this position. Do you know the 23rd Psalm? Of course. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Remember those words? They'll bring you comfort and strength. I'll come again soon. Goodbye. She kept trying different perfumes, then she just dropped the bottles. They were breaking, and she didn't even seem to notice. Was anyone hurt? No. I don't think she meant any harm. I didn't even think she knew what she was doing. Oh, here. She gave me this. Yeah, I was going to call the police, but I figured you'd want to handle it yourself. Um, I appreciate that. My, my, my wife's ill. I know. Okay, um... I'll take care of this. So, uh, what does it come to? Over five hundred dollars. Um, but it's all right. That woman took care of it. What woman? Your wife's friend. I mean, she was very concerned. She left with her. Where did they go? It's okay. It's okay. The door's locked. Everything's fine. No one's here. What was that noise? It was just the janitor, Margo. He dropped something in the hall. It's okay. He's gone. He's not going to bother us anymore. There's nothing to worry about. He's gone. Margo, please try to sit, okay? Sit and rest, maybe you can... Can I get you something to drink? Can, can I get... No. Margo, what? Margo, why were you at Alderman's? I'm so glad I came along. What were you... What were you doing at the perfume counter? Margo, do you even remember? I was looking for... For what? For what? For what? That's... And what? You were looking for perfume? Why? For that scent. I smelled it that night. When I went home. Wait, are you talking about the night that Diego was shot? I remember smelling it. I remember... I remember the church. Diego and the gun. My gun. Someone. Someone. So close. What? So close to what? So close. So close to what, so Margo? Close. So close to what? So close to remembering. What? To remembering. Who took my gun? Shot Diego. It's advanced. It's new band clear soft solid. It looks like nothing you've ever seen. Unique. Its shape to fit applicator puts the right amount in the